The first step in registering for CRA My Account is to go to Canada.ca and then click on the appropriate language. Now on the next screen, scroll down and find the tab labeled Taxes. Click on that link and it'll take you through to the page where you can click on My Account. So on the Taxes page, scroll down and over on the right hand side is the My Account link. Click on that and that carries you through to the My Account for Individuals page. Note the reference there to the New Canada Emergency Response Benefit uh, being applied for using My Account or the automated phone line starting April the 6th. If you haven't registered before, there's a couple of different options, one of which utilizes sign-in partners such as banks and that. However, on this video, we're going to use the CRA User ID and Password option. So if you click on the CRA Register link, it's going to carry us through and we'll be able to get started. The first thing you need to enter is your social insurance number. So in this regard here, it's part of the security aspect of it. So you need your nine digit social insurance number that you use normally to file your taxes. And then once you enter that, you can click through and as well enter the aspect of your postal code, your date of birth, and then you also need to provide some information from your previous tax return. So in this reference here, if the, it'll either refer to either the 2018 or 2019 return. So with regards to it in this case, it's the employment income line. So that's entered and we click on next. That'll carry us through to the page that makes mention of the CRA security code notification. Um, it's typically mailed out, but do note that the COVID-19 CERB benefit does not require the CRA security code for application. Remember, you can only apply for this starting in April 2020, April the 6th. Also note, though, if you want direct deposit information to be filed with CRA or to update it, you will require that code. So we click through in terms of the uh, code page, and that'll lead us to a verification where we're going to confirm what our current postal code is. We click on Next. And that'll take us to the page where we get to create our own CRA user ID and password. Um, note that there are verification or validation criteria in terms of digits, um, no spaces and no special characters other than a few limited exceptions. It'll all requ also require you to create a password. That password you'll have to confirm by entering it in the second box. And also note there's a variety of validation steps with regards to the password. Uh, once we meet those validation steps, all the check marks will go green and we'll be able to click next. And that after that point, we're led to a security question box where we get to create five separate security questions. Again, they have some validation criteria. Um, these are something that you should be remember, able to remember, and it's going to be used for your access to your account in the future. And so once we've chosen five questions and answered five or provided five separate answers for those we'll be able to click through to the next step with regards to the creation of your CRA My Account. So in this case, we've got the five answers in there. Um, do note also there's an option to ask the question each time you log in or do not ask a security question each time you log in. Uh, if you're using public or shared devices, it's a good idea to have that security question each time. Then we've got the legalese with regards to the terms and conditions of use. Make sure in this regard you take a quick read as to what the My Account can be used for and can't be used for. At this point you're going to log in using your previous password and the user ID that you've created. Click on I agree. In this case here, again, the notation that the COVID-19 CERB uh, does not require the security code. It's a reminder the security code will be mailed to you. And then we have a second page of legalese. And when we click on agree at this point, it'll take us into um, our My Account. 
Um, initially, until you enter that security code, you'll have limited access, although there should be a link on here after April the 6th in order to apply for the uh, CERB or the Canada Emergency Response Benefit. Um, when it comes to that security code, another option you have is to phone into CRA and after them validating through some security questions, they can provide you with the CRA security code through an email. Um, do note that once you enter that security code, you'll get full and complete access to your My Account, which has a lot more different options with respect to uh, getting your data. The online process is fairly fast, however when it comes to doing the getting the security code from CRA, uh, you can get it by phone at dialing 1-800-959-8281 and the CRA representative will ask you some key pieces of information such as your SIN number, your address, your date of birth and some key information off of your 2019 or 2018 T1 information. Do note that with regards to phoning in, uh, their phone lines are, are quite busy right now. So people have been experiencing uh, either not connecting or hang-ups along the way. Um, however, if you can get through, the individuals are quite helpful in providing you the information that you need in order to uh, get that security code that you can then enter on your computer when you go into your My Account. Um, the detail will be limited at that point, however, once you enter the security security code, uh, you'll have full access to the CRA online services, including the direct deposit information. If you need any additional help, feel free to contact Connect Live CPAs Inc. www.connectlivecpas.com or email Denise at Denise at connectlivecpas.com or call us at 250-924-4242. Thank you.